Welcome to the Outdoor Kitchen Show, folks. Today we are on location with Jimmy Babin of Creative Cajun Cooking, and I'm Marissa Turner, here to tell you about some new products we got going on. Now, Jimmy, we've been working together on all of these, and they are magical. Oh, talk about magical. Mm -hmm. The magic everywhere as you look on this table. That's right. We have the roast and gravy magic, bean magic, dumpling magic, and the jumbo pastalaya and dirty rice seasoning, which is also kind of magic itself. Ooh, yeah. And we call them magic because it got magic swamp dust down. True. That's right. Now, there are a ton of recipes that we can do with this, and we've got a few today. And we're going to do stovetop, crock pot, and instant pot. Oh, and I, I like an instant pot thing. Mm hmm. Okay, so we're going to start off with the crock pot. What are we going to do in that? We're going to do a, a pasta laia. There huh? we go. Nowhere in Ascension Parish do they do a pastalaya in a crock pot. In a crock pot. A lot of people yeah. ask me, can they do a jambalaya in a crock pot? Yes. And this is pastalaya and dirty rice. You can do any of it, and we're going to show you how. Now, what else we got? We got a stove top. We do a stove top with uh, some temple meat and uh, gravy. Okay. Uh, make a gravy with that gravy magic. All right. And then we got uh, a beef roast and a pork roast, and we're going to do one in each instant pot. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, man. Pressure That's cooker. right. Got to, got to be able to do it in that pressure cooker. So for all of this, we're going to show you how to do it, and you got to stay tuned right here to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. We'll be right back. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. We entertain a lot at our house. So one good thing is you never want little creepy crawlers running around when you're entertaining. And you can always count on the bug man to make sure that parties go smooth. Call the bug man today, 923 bugs. The bug man is wonderful. When it comes to oysters, are you team raw or team char grilled? Mike Anderson's wants to know your style. Do you enjoy our ice cold, freshly shucked raw Gulf oysters? Or our sizzling garlic butter Parmesan char grilled oysters right off the fire? Whether you like them hot or cold, oyster lovers roll to Mike Anderson Seafood and Oyster Bar next to the Clarion Inn on Highway 30 in Gonzales. Send some Louisiana love anywhere else in the United States. We have a gift pack to fit everyone's taste. The Pickle Dust Rub Kit, the Cajun Cream Cheese Dip Kit, the Gator Pickles Gift Pack, the Fried Pickle Okra Kit, Fried Wing and Fish Kit, Fried Green Tomato Kit. It's only available at CreativeCajunCooking.com. That's not just Cajun, baby. That's Creative Cajun Cooking Shack. Nothing elevates the beauty and value of a home like natural stone. Ascension Granite Marble offers quality stone for kitchens, baths, and businesses. Mined from exotic global locations, granite has its own personality, marble its own richness, and quartz can be anything you imagine. Ascension Granite is more than a showroom. Choose your slab in the stone yard and it will be carved, polished, and perfected on site. Ascension Granite and Marble in Gonzales, 644-2231 or ascensiongranite.com. Hi, I'm Paul Salvant with the Bugman Professional Pest Control, and it's game day, baby. Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we are on location at Creative Cajun Cooking with Jimmy Babin, and we're going to show you some magical products today. Now, Jimmy, you're coming out with four new mixes. Let's tell everybody what we got. Well, we're starting out with this gravy magic. Mm -hmm. You know, when I go cook places, catering for nice size events and stuff, I get a lot of people say, I want to do that pork roast and gravy chunks that you got. Mm -hmm. Man, it's so good. I wish I could do that at home. Mm -hmm. I yeah. wish you could too. There you go. Now you can. That's right. Huh? We're going to make it easy. You can do it at your own house. And it can, you can do a big roast with this. You can do deer roast, pork roast, whatever kind of roast you want to do. Yes. You can handle it. And then also we have recipes for crock pot. Yeah, I think it's I a got pot. a recipe Everything. for lamb. Okay. Neutral. <laughs> there you go. Armadillo. Yeah. Whatever, whatever. whatever. You, if it yeah. fits in the pot, you do it. It fits in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes with a gravy mix in it. We're going to show you how to do that. <laughs> Armadillo, you're terrible. All right. Now, um, 
we're not doing these on the show today, but we have tons of video of our bean magic and the dumpling magic. Now the bean magic uh, is basically a dump and go kind of thing with your dried beans and you can do two pounds of beans with it. That's right. A big pot because Jimmy don't do small. And the dumpling magic, this is also pretty cool too because you can do not just chicken, but um, we've done shrimp and crab. And you could do veggies if you just wanted to do the veggies. Um, so some really good stuff with that and all of this is on your website. Yes. Okay, and one of the things that we're going to do today, what we're going to start off with, is the jumbo pastalaya and dirty rice mix. Now, this one's kind of special because um, it's the seasoning blend and gives you all the instructions of how to do jambalaya, pastalaya, dirty rice, but also we're going to do it in the crock pot. And so today we're going to show how to do a pastalaya. And we should probably start with that one because, you know, crock pot takes longer. And the other things we have are instant pot and stovetop. So, what do we need to do to get started with this? I gotta hook up a crock pot. I'm gonna hook up a crock pot. All right. That's, easy. That's right. And uh, just to tell you real quick, uh, in front of us we have all these recipe books and everything else. All of this is gonna be online and we're gonna have video tutorials and all that kind of stuff. So when you get the box mix, you'll know what to do. All right, so let's get a crock pot out and get the ingredients out. I got it. Okay. Now we've got this fancy little crock pot. That's one of them things you can plug in and go to work with. But unfortunately, you dump that one little bag of, of the jamba pasta you mix in there. And uh, this one we're going to do on high because you want to try to expedite it, get it done so as fast as your crock pot can heat up. Or if you're going to go to work and plug it in or plug it in the night before and be ready the next morning, then we can do that too. So I'm going to put the seasoning in there, the jamba pasta you mix. I'm going to put a little chicken in there, some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I, I like that better than anything else on chicken. And then I have temple meat, which is pork that comes off the temple of a hog. Then we're going to have seven and a half cups of water. This stuff is easy. I mean, anybody can do this at home. And just push that little button over there and it says hi. Got it? And I'll take my little knife since it's handy right here. Just start the seasoning around. Kind of stir it around. Mm -hmm. Quick and easy. And then at the end of when the meat gets cooked, We'll put the sausage in, because I don't want to overcook sausage. Sausage should never be overcooked, you know? And then once we put the sausage in, it gets a little bubbling, boiling, coming back. And then we'll put the pasta in and lay it around and kind of keep it broken apart some. Mm -hmm. And then it'll basically just soak up the water, tenderize, and cook. Okay. In the jamba pasta lye, your dirty rice mix, there's actually two bags just like the bag that I dumped in there, there's two bags in that box. Two family two size. Two family size meals, mm -hmm. that's it. On the box, you'll have a recipe on the back for jambalaya, just like a stove top. And then you'll see this QR code right at the bottom. And you take your cell phone and shoot that and it takes you to the Creative Cajun Cooking website that has a landing page for that QR code, it'll show you the four different box mixes. You click on the box that you want to use, and it'll give you a drop-down box that has multiple recipes and multiple ways to cook with it. You can do a stove top, the instant pot, or this crock pot. All right, cute little instant pots. Uh, the latest craze, Facebook going wild with them. They have their own little groups. That's about 25 or 30 groups on Facebook. And it's a pressure cooker, and it's a lot faster than trying to cook them in the oven, on the pit, or even on the stove, because it pressure cooks the, the, the meat. And it, you can do a lot of multiple things with it, but I really like the roast and gravy. It's quick and easy, and you get hungry fast, you know what I mean? And you want to eat, let's go for it. So I, I got uh, a beef roast and a pork roast, and we're gonna do one in each pot. A cute little instant pot, but you know, it'll do five, maybe six pounds of, of the roast at a time. Other than that, it's gonna to be too big for it. This is an eight quart pot. Eight, this is an eight quart pot. 
This is about five and a half pounds and try to get it centered up in the middle. In the roast and gravy magic box, you have a bag like this, which is your seasoning, and then you'll have another bag like this, which is your gravy thickening bag. Okay, you ready to cut this bag open? All that wonderful goodness. And then you got four cups of water. I like to use about a 12 ounce Coca-Cola. That helps tenderize that meat also. And mix that up well and pour it in. We're gonna drill some of this Cajun barbecue wing sauce over the top of both of these roasts. Yeah, let's close this thing up and lock it down. That thing will pressure cook. We make sure the vent's closed. See, that's where it's open. And that way it's closed. And this little red button, when it heats up, it builds pressure and steam on it. It'll pop up and seal it off. That way it makes that roast cook a lot faster. This is one of them highfalutin little pots. We've got buttons to push. Look how cute that is. Let's take pressure cook for this beef roast and let's get it up to an hour's worth. One hour. And then that thing will just take off all by itself when it starts heating up. And when we come back, we'll show you how to thicken up that gravy and make the best roast beef po' boy you've ever had. Hi, I'm Craig St. Pierre, the proud new owner of Delone Supermarket here in Santa Monica, Louisiana. We want to be your go-to grocer. We're up early cooking hot breakfast and fresh donuts every morning. You'll love our daily lunch specials too. We stock those hard to find Louisiana products. We even make our own sausage and boudin with that Louisiana flavor. At Delone's, we want to be your hometown butcher shop. Choice meats, we cut them. Bulk jambalaya ingredients, we got it. Friendly faces, you know them. Come see us at Delone Supermarket. From gas to groceries, we got you covered. Vikings didn't actually have horns on their helmets. Ostriches don't really stick their heads in the sand. A peanut is not a nut. And a real John Deere is actually real affordable. You learn something new every day. The surprisingly affordable John Deere E-Series tractors. Get your surprisingly affordable E-Series John Deere tractor today at Ascension Equipment, Airline Highway, Gonzalez. A cut above the rest. The Louisiana Wildlife Federation is the oldest nonprofit conservation group in Louisiana, formed by sportsmen in 1940 to protect your right to access and enjoy healthy fisheries and wildlife habitats statewide. LWF represents the voice of Louisiana's outdoors, both in the field and at the Capitol. LWF also supports the Vanishing Paradise campaign that advocates for critical restoration in the Delta and on the coast. Speak up for our state. Become an LWF member today. I can see the damage that termites can do. That's why the bug man and the centricon system was a no-brainer. No eliminate the colony and eliminate termites for good. My house is protected with the bug man and the centricon system. Call the bug man today, 923-BUGS. Hi, I'm Doug Gorman with Gorman Brothers Appliances in Prairieville. I want to show you the Speed Queen washers and dryers that everybody comes in asking about. This is a commercial quality machine. The same machine is in their laundromats as in your house carries a three-year parts and labor warranty, 25-year life cycle. This is a 100-year-old company, very durable. So come on by our showroom at 17515 Airline Highway in Prairieville and buy local. Hi, I'm Paul Salvant with the Bugman Professional Pest Control, and it's game day, baby. Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Today we're in Jimmy Babbin's Test Kitchen checking out his new magical mixes that help you make family style meals at home. Now we're going to do this little pork roast. This pork roast is about five and a half also. We're going to set it down in the pot and kind of squeeze it together a little bit, get it away from the edges. Then we'll be able to mix our seasoning up with the water and put into it. Jimmy's Roast and Gravy Magic Mix comes with seasoning like this and also a gravy thickener that we'll use later. An option is to reduce the water and add in a 12 ounce can of Coke. 
Now let's pour some over the pork roast. Ooh. Man, that hog enjoyed that bath, didn't it? We're gonna drill some of this Cajun barbecue wing sauce over the top. He loves your barbecue sauce. Oh man, that's some goodness right there. Mm -hmm. You notice that heavy drizzle? And here's our little pork roast. We're gonna close this thing up. Lock it down. Close the little steam relief. And that little button gonna pop up after it gets hot enough and creates a little steam going. It seals it off and pressure cooks it. So <clears throat> good thick pork roast. Takes about an hour and 25 minutes in this instant pot. So I'm gonna hit pressure cook. Oh, one more. An hour and 25 minutes on a pork roast, it'll be falling off that bone. Now we're gonna to move to the stove top and do a temple meat roast and gravy magic. This is gonna be a pork and gravy. You know when you got a quick thing you wanna run and make a little quick meal? This don't take long. We're gonna dump about three pounds of pork in this thing. Then we got a little roast and gravy magic. We're gonna dump in along with that. And I'm gonna put a little shot of this Cajun barbecue wing sauce. How wonderful can that be? Let's sprinkle a little bit down in there. Ooh. That ain't just Cajun, baby. That's creative Cajun cooking show. Set the lid on that thing, and we'll let it warm up, turn the fire down on low, and let it simmer. Look how easy that is. That's right. Thickening magic right here. I'll whisk it around, melt it out. Notice, no little knots. We're in good shape. Mixed up nicely. Look at the goodness floating out of that pot right there. Mm -hmm. I'm a welder, I can do it backhanded, uphill, downhill. Put a little more fire under that so it rolls. So it starts thickening up. Mm -hmm. And if you want it thicker than that, you can put a little less water. And see the little pressure thing is still up. So as it's bleeding off and the pressure goes away, that little button will drop down and then you can take the lid off. And then you can take the lid off. There you go. I've been waiting for an hour and a half. Oh, holy moly. Look at that thing right there. Add that thickening, gravy thickening agent in there. Let it start thickening up. Put that pot on a saute on low and it'll start boiling up in just a little bit. And speaking of finishing up that gravy, let's check on our temple meat and gravy that's been simmering on the stove top. You've been wearing me out about don't lift the lid. Now you tell me lift the lid. You must be getting hungry, girl. Must be. Look at here. So a little of that sausage up in there and let that stuff kind of uh, warm up, you know? Okay. It'll get back to boiling. It don't take it long. It'll get back up and running. Now you're getting to take this lid off again. Mm -hmm. You're ready to put some pasta in this thing. Look. We'll be able to Kind of fork that pasta around, loosen it up some. And some people like to break their pasta in half. That's all it is. Yeah. You can as long break as it in as half. Down that juice. As long as it's down inside there, we're in good shape. That's why they make that thing over. Mm -hmm. So you can put long pasta in there. Some skitties. This part of the cooking process doesn't take very long. Just make sure your crock pot is on high and you keep stirring those noodles around so they don't clump up on you and you'll have a great pasta la. Alright Jimmy, while I'm enjoying the steam off of this magic oh, swamp yeah. rice, 
I thought, let's tell everybody the story behind the boxes. The box. Because this is all new and coming soon to stores, in stores. Yes. Online. Hey, online. Okay. And it's been a long time coming for these. Oh, this has been the biggest chore that I've attacked it. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean, attacked it. I do know because I've been here a lot with this. <laughs> I had to depend on you a lot to get the, the pictures and the videos and all the high definition stuff mm -hmm. and to be able to design a box that when you walk past the box in the store and it's sitting on a shelf, it almost wants to reach out and grab to your buggy and jump into it. Right. Hey. And stuff that we've been working with is getting the recipes right because there's so many different things that you can do with these. And um, and figuring out the quantities and, and the different cooking methods and the water in each one because it's all different. It's all different. And you can't put it all on the box. So what made you want to do these? Every time I go cater a, an event somewhere, normally it's a big function. I got my black on pots a rolling and everybody who and ah over the flavor of the food because mm -hmm. I do a, a great job with it. You know, pat myself on the back, right. but I do great with it. And I contributed all to the number one thing I started years ago, which is the Magic Swamp Dust Seasoning. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It was just one of them things. I've been having it since, uh, what, 1969 or 70? Really? Believe it or not. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'd pour some of this and some of that, and then I'd have a measurement for each thing. Mm -hmm. And I used it in everything that I cooked. I, I did most of the cooking. I used yeah. it in everything I cooked too, because yeah. it's got more of a Cajun flavor. That's so right. you can make your Cajun flavors um, with Jimmy's recipe and the how to's and how to do it. And that way you don't have to be nervous about making traditional Cajun recipes because you've got your seasoning, it's all ready to go. You've got videos, you've got recipes, and we'll walk you through it. And if you can't make it, just dial my phone. It's kind of like that, that guy in the tower on the airport he can, right. he can have you land in the plane even when you don't know how to fly one. Right? <laughs> you better be careful giving that number out. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny right there. Jimmy, I don't care Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> so to finish up that beef roast in the Instant Pot, we took the roast out to let it rest. Now we're slicing it up and putting it back in the gravy get all gravy-licious. Now you can put this over rice or potatoes, or you can put it on some toasted po' boy bread for the best roast beef and gravy po' boy you ever had. Let that stuff float around all up in there. Look at that. Ooh, look at that, huh? Mm. Holy moly. For all of today's recipes, go to our website, theoutdoorkitchenshow.com. The little pressure thing is down. That means you can open that lid up. I don't know if I want you to see that yet. <laughs> That pork roast is right there. I think the bone gonna fall out before I get it out of the pot. And while that meat rests, before we slice it, we're gonna stir in the gravy thickener that comes in the Roast and Gravy Magic box. Now for all of the things that you've seen today, you go to creativecajuncooking.com and we're gonna be right back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show with more recipes. Stay tuned. Cajun Catch Seafood Market and Deli in Gonzales is your local source for crawfish, wild-caught fish, crabs, and shrimp on ice and right out the boiler. Cajun Catch Deli is now open every weekday until 7 p.m., serving home-style Cajun favorites, overstuffed po'boys, daily lunch specials, and crispy, crunchy fried chicken. Everybody knows if you want it boiled, fried, or stewed, come on down to Cajun Catch Seafood on Ori's Roth next to the fire station in Gonzales. Savvy Cuts, haircuts for the whole family, is now offering full barber services. It feels like luxury and Savvy Cuts makes it affordable with free hot towel service, discounts for military and first responders, senior day discounts, and even a free shampoo and express dry for all haircuts, with quality guaranteed. Walk-ins are always welcome, so come see Becky Blanchard and Pam Fusell at Savvy Cuts, now hiring a full-time experienced hairstylist or barber. We are believers. 
trust is earned in the field, where a full day's work will always tell the truth. We believe in what we do and what we have done. Who are we? Number one in subcompact tractors, number one in compact excavators, and number one in diesel engines. We are Kubota. Get your next Kubota at Ascension Equipment in Gonzales. Hi, my name is Holly Bateman. Um, I have been a patient of Dr. Bailey's for about seven years. And um, the thing that I most appreciate when I walk in the door is his friendly staff. Everyone always greets me. I feel like I'm at home. I get back to the chair and Dr. Bailey always makes me feel very comfortable before a procedure. And everything's always explained to me before um, they do anything with me. And my family just really loves Dr. Bailey and we appreciate his staff and we are so happy to be here. Hi, I'm Paul Salvant with the Bugman Professional Pest Control and it's game day, baby. Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner and today we've been on location at Creative Cajun Cooking with Jimmy Babbin cooking up all kinds of stuff, y'all. Today we are showing you the brand new mixes from Creative Cajun Cooking and they're all magical. We have the Bean Magic and Dumpling Magic, which we've kind of showed some videos on Facebook. But today we're really focusing on the Roast and Gravy Magic and then also the Jumbo Pastelaya Dirty Rice Season and Mix. And we have cooked in Instapots, we have cooked in crock pot, we have cooked on the stove top, uh, just to show you some options for these new mixes. And Jimmy, where can they find the mixes? Oh, I'm gonna have that on my website. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm almost got it ready to go. Okay, it's so you can look forward to, to these. Um, recipes are already on your website. Yes. Add more and more every day how to cook these roasts and gravies and all the good Cajun cooking that you might have been scared to cook before it makes it easy. Oh, there's nothing to it. Look, I'm used to doing this at big pots. This works mm -hmm. me hard. <laughs> nah, instant <laughs> pot. The biggest problem I got, you can't look in the pot until it finishes. That's right. It's locked. It's locked. Can't mess with it. It's kind of like that crock pot. Don't make me slap your hand. Don't, yeah. don't lift that lid. Can't lift the lid. Oh, Marissa, get on you about that. <laughs> Leave that lid on until it's time to put in the sausage and pasta. So today we've done a pork roast. We've done a beef roast. We've done some temple meat. We did a pastelaya in the crock pot. And for all of these recipes, you can go to creativecajuncooking.com. And of course, our website at theoutdoorkitchenshow.com. We'll also have the videos, the little tutorials, the little cute Facebook videos. We'll have all of that for you so it's easy to cook. Yeah, I might have it fixed so that when you play the video and you're sitting in your kitchen, you want to know what to do next, my hand will come out and stir a pot for you. <laughs> that would be good. Hey. <laughs> you can come stir, uh, stir a pot at my house anytime. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all, it's all on the website. If you have any questions, check it out, send us an email, and thanks for watching us on the Outdoor Kitchen Show. We'll see you next week.